origins. Sticks are among the tools first used by human beings. In China's traditional health culture, it has long been a practice to exercise with an instrument like a stick. In the pictures of Dao Yin exercises, excavated from the Ma Wang Doi tomb of Han Dynasty, 206 BC to 8220, in Changsha of Hunan Province, there are two illustrations of figures in different postures wielding sticks. They are by far the earliest document to teach people how to keep fit by stick exercises. From the earliest dance meant to ward off disease and keep fit, to various other health preservation methods such as Dao Yin, Chinese traditional bodybuilding exercise which combines breath control, body and limb movements, concentration of mind and local massage we see a form of exercise with stick as an instrument. The modern Tai Chi rod, taught by Zhao Zhongdao, also carries on the tradition of practicing Qigong with a rod. In order to promote the fine tradition of Chinese regimen culture and satisfy people's increasing desire for multiple forms of fitness exercise, the experts from Health Qigong Administrative Center of the General Administration of Sport of China created the Tai Chi Stick Exercises in 2007 in accordance with the movements in the pictures of Dao Yin exercise and based on the historical records about Dao Yin, conscious breathing and the successful experience of traditional practice methods such as Tai Chi Rod. The Tai Chi Stick starts with those concepts of harmony between yin and yang and between man and nature embodied in Tai Chi and traditional cultural concepts distilling the essence of traditional stick practice the Tai Chi stick guides body movements and stick wielding and coordinates directed breathing and imagination Characteristics All the movements of the Taiji stick are gentle and slow, smooth, rhythmic, and graceful. The key point for the general practice of the Taiji stick are as follows. The stick guides coordination of body and spirit. The concept of our Tai Chi stick regimen is to guide our breathing with the stick, giving first priority to attaining mental tranquility and building up our bodies at the same time. Breathing should synchronize with our body movements guided by the stick. When wielding the stick, we should ease our minds and let thoughts govern breathing and harmonize body and spirit. Two, the waist functions as a pivot to harmonize the body and the stick. In practicing with the Tai Chi stick, we should twist, turn, bend and stretch round the waist as a center and move our spine accordingly. The waist is where the kidney resides and the kidney is the root of congenital constitution. Proper waist movement combined with breathing and thinking can effectively balance inborn deficiencies and benefit postnatal conditions, strengthen the vitality and promote health. Relationship of stick movement and massage. The stick should not only guide coordination of your body movements and breathing, but should also help stretch muscles and strengthen bones, massage acupoints, clear meridian channels, and activate internal organs. Four. 
rotating the stick. As ancient Chinese believe that the sky is round and earth square, the Taiji stick exercise features gentle, slow, and uninterrupted circular movements. The path of the stick should be coherent in rotation, whether horizontally, vertically, or in any arc in between. stick are integrated into one. As an extension of the arms, the stick becomes a part of the exerciser. In practice, hold the stick and guide the body movements with your waist as the center, and at the same time, use the stick's motion to pull and push your internal organs in harmony with each other. Exercise preparation. The stick can be made of materials such as the branches of a white wax tree, pine tree, and bamboo, which are smooth and even. The size of the stick should be determined according to the height of the exerciser and by the size of his or her hands. The stick is usually 105 to 125 centimeters long and 2.3 to 2.8 centimeters in diameter. Apply forefinger pressure to the stick with the other fingers holding naturally around it. Grasp the stick with cupped hands pressing the thumbs lightly against the first joints of the forefingers. Hold the stick against Huko acupoint between thumb and index finger and relax the hands. Fingertips extended slightly upward or alternatively flat supporting the stick with your thumbs. Hold the stick with your open palms. When rotating the stick, press the stick into huko acupoints between thumb and index finger with palms up. The hand close to one end of the stick rotates the wrist clockwise and the second hand supports and cups the stick with the stick rotating 90 degrees and rising to vertical. When twisting the stick, one hand holds one end of the stick, drawing a circle high then low and in toward your body and finishing with one palm up, one down. When massaging, hold the stick with arms shoulder width apart and then massage the body with the stick. When rolling the stick, grasp the stick and rotate the wrists forward. When doing this exercise, stand naturally, grasp the stick, and hold it in front of your abdomen. Your hands are shoulder width apart. Now, rotate your wrists forward. When spinning the stick, hold the stick pointed down at 45 degrees with cupped hands and rotate till one palm turns up. The other hand should adjust to this movement. When doing this exercise, stand naturally. One arm rotates outward until the palm is turned up and then rotates back. 
The other hand coordinates its movements. Alternate your active arm. When sliding the stick, one hand grips the horizontal stick and the other hand slides outward along it as the stick is raised. When doing this exercise, stand upright, hold the stick in front of your abdomen with right palm up and left down. Slide both hands along the stick to the center and rotate the stick 180 degrees. Alternatively, you can practice this motion the other way around. When massaging the acupoints, stand upright, hold the stick in both hands and put it on your shoulders. Then roll it with open palms up your neck from Da Jue to Yu Zhen acupoints and back again. Stand upright again, hold the stick in both hands and put it on your shoulders. You may turn your waist to either side and at the same time press Jian Jing acupoint midway between Da Joy and the acromion at the highest point of the shoulder. Cross your legs from behind, squat and press Chen Shan acupoint in the middle of the calf between the two heads of the gastronemius muscle of the front leg with the back leg. If the right leg is forward, the left arm is raised and holding the stick high. Alternate legs and arm or stick positions to practice. When drawing horizontal circles, stand your feet shoulder width apart and draw circles clockwise or anti-clockwise in front of the abdomen or chest. When drawing vertical circles, the feet are shoulder width apart. Hold the stick and draw vertical circles in front of your abdomen. Step one foot forward, bend your knees, hold the stick and draw vertical circles on both sides of your body.
forward stance. Move one leg forward and bend it with the lower part of the leg vertical and toes facing front, but turning slightly inward. The other leg extends naturally with the foot standing firm. Weight on the heel of the foot. The distance between the feet is shoulder width. High squat. Cross your legs from behind. Bend your knees and squat to press Chung Shan acupoint of the front leg with the rear leg. Chung Shan point is prominent, located by the two centers of the gastronemius muscle. The point is below them, as though holding up a mountain. Low squat. Cross your legs from behind. Then bend your knees and squat until the hips rest on the heels. Hands are held behind the lower back. Movements. Initial stance. One, stand upright and relax with your feet together. Hold the stick with the left hand about one third of its length from one end. Two, move your left foot sideways to shoulder width from the right and stand erect. Raise the lower tip of the stick with your left hand and taking it in your right hand, slide it across the abdomen. Hold the stick with hands shoulder width apart and look straight ahead. Three. Roll the stick up over the abdomen to the chest and then back down till your arms are straight. Repeat twice. stick all at the same time, inhaling accordingly. Then roll the stick downward, move your wrists and arms, and exhale accordingly. <music> Guiding the movements with your stick will calm your mind, relax your body, and keep you focused on the exercise sequence. Coordination of breathing and movements helps you get rid of stale chi and take in fresh air. Step 1. Boatman rows with an oar. Shaogong Yao Lu. 1. Bend your knees into a bow stance. Roll the stick above. Turn your body to the left and move your left foot out to the side with the heel planted on the ground. Bend your body and roll the stick from top to bottom. 2. Shift your weight to the rear. Turn your body back and then to the left. Roll the stick up your chest and bend forward. Push the stick forward and down to your waist level. Repeat this round of movements. Three, 
bring the left foot back and stand upright. Push the stick to the front and then down to the abdomen. Movements to the right side mirror those on the left side in the opposite direction. When you move the stick in front of your body, your arms and legs should synchronize naturally and smoothly. You should keep the stick moving between your shoulders and waist, and your elbows and shoulders should move as you push the stick forward. Keep your elbows bent naturally. Crane your neck to lift bihoi acupoint upward and breathe deeply. When you step forward, choose a length of stride appropriate to your physical condition. You should make the move gradually and do not stick up your hips. Regular movements of the wrist can stimulate Yuan acupoint. Clear the hand, Shao Yin heart medium, the hand, Jue Yin pericardium meridian, and the hand, Tai Yin lung meridian, nurturing the heart and calming the nerves. Regular movements of the wrists help ease and reduce the excessive stress of your muscles and tendons from work and daily life. Step 2. Boat rows slowly. Qing Zhou Huang Xing. 1. Bend your knees and turn the body right. Hold the stick with both hands and draw an arc from the right side above your head. Move the left foot forward and plant the heel on the ground. Then, spread your right hand, turn 180 degrees left with the right palm up and the stick resting on it. Draw a curve with the stick to the front, side, and back of your body until the right hand rests on your left side at the waist as if rowing a boat. 2. Shift your weight backward, turn your waist to the left, hold the stick in both hands, and draw an arc from the left side ending above your head. Then, spread your right palm Turn 180 degrees with palm up and rest the stick on it. Step the left foot back. Draw an arc with the stick from the side and back of your body until the right hand rests on your right side at the waist as if rowing a boat. 3. Draw an arc with the stick to your right and front and bring your feet together. Then, straighten your knees and draw an arc from behind your body forward until the right hand rests on your left side at the waist, as if rowing a boat. Movements to the right side mirror those to the left in opposite direction.
This sequence should be done once on each side. When you draw a circle around your body, you should turn your waist naturally and flow with the stick motion. Your eyes should follow the moving stick. Inhale when gathering momentum and exhale when completing the motion. When you hold the stick, exert yourself as you push it down and inhale deeply into your belly. Beginners may increase the space between their feet when stepping forward or back. When your skills and your balance improve, the feet should touch and follow a single line. A practitioner with shoulder problems should have special training for these movements and then master the speed and range. The motion of rowing an oar helps your wrists and shoulders rotate to stimulate the hand Sun Yin Meridian and the hand Sun Yang Meridian and coordinate the lung meridian with the large intestine meridian, heart meridian with small intestine meridian and pericardium meridian with Sun Jiao Meridian. This set of movements promotes digestion and intestinal health. Ankle movements stimulate foot Sun Yin Meridian and foot Sun Yang Meridian. They also soothe the liver and gallbladder. Rotation of the shoulders helps prevent and cure periarthritis and lessen shoulder pain. Step 3. Wind Kisses Lotus Leaves Feng Bai He Ye 1. Step your left foot out to the side and bend the knees. Then, clamp the stick into Huko acupoints between thumb and index finger with your palms facing down. Straighten your knees, roll your wrists and draw the stick back against your body. 2. Turn your waist to the right. Massage across the abdomen from left to right. And with your right hand, raise the stick up to the back of right shoulder. Then, center your waist and draw circles in both directions. Ending with your arms folded in front of your chest with your right arm up. 3. Straighten your knees. Hold the stick in your left hand and with your right hand, Push it leftward across your abdomen in parallel with your left heel. The left hand ends at waist height and the right arm extends overhead, elbow to right ear. The body bends left. Relax your fingers and grasp the stick. Look in the direction of the stick. 4. Stand upright and lift your head. Raise the stick up over your head and straighten your wrists with fingers up. Bend your knees. Lower the stick to your chest. Roll it down to your abdomen. Bring your feet together. Movements to the right side mirror the left side in the opposite direction.
This set of movements is done on each side and repeated twice. In this set, you should coordinate your wrist movements as your grip on the stick changes. When you hold the stick and draw circles in both directions, relax your shoulders and extend your arms as you turn your waist. Adjust the width of your stance and center of weight according to the length of the stick and your physical condition. When you bend the body and draw circles with the stick, the hand at the lower end of the stick guides the movement. Each hand's priority should be the smooth movement of the stick. Older people may move less forcefully when bending their bodies. Young people should use greater force. Bending the body helps stimulate the meridians on body sides and promotes unblocked circulation of blood and chi. According to chiropractic theory, bending the spinal column can also help prevent or adjust spinal asymmetry, effectively preventing irregularities. Step 4. Boatman tows a boat. Chuan Fu Bei Qian. 1. Turn your body to the left and bend your knees into a bow stance. Push the stick to the left. Draw a circle downward, forward, and upward. Then, pull the upper end to your waist on the left side and point the lower end forward. Hold the stick to draw a circle upward. The right hand, holding the stick, draws a circle backward and press it on your shoulders. Turn the right foot outward and the left foot inward. Turn the waist back. 3. Bend the right knee into a right bow stance. At the same time, turn your waist to the right and place the stick on your shoulder while rotating it. 180 degrees. Lower your weight further. Press Jian Jing AccuPoint on your left shoulder with the stick. Look back to the right and rear. 4. Push the stick above your head with your left hand. Then lower it to your right shoulder and then to your right chest. Draw an arc upward with the stick end by right hand. Turn your left foot out and bend the left knee turning the right foot inward. 
Turn your body to the left and wield the stick in an arc upward to the left. Shift your weight to your right leg, bending the knee. Push the stick up above your head with your fingers pointed up and hands clamping the stick. Then straighten your legs and stand upright, lowering the stick to your chest and then abdomen. Movements to the right side mirror those on the left side in opposite direction. This set of movements is repeated twice on each side. Using rotating the stick to the left as an example, when you draw curves upward and to the left, your left hand should slide slightly toward the end of the stick. When you hold the stick and draw curves behind you, your waist should rotate and extend as well. When you slide the stick on your shoulders, as you turn your waist, your right hand should cooperate with your left. When you turn your waist and shoulders, you should rotate the stick after you stop. Beginners and older people should shift their weight higher, keep their stride short, and turn their bodies slightly. Keep your stride bigger, your weight lower, and turn your waist and extend your legs to the full once you become stronger and your skills advance. Turning your head can effectively stimulate da joy acupoint, invigorate the chi, and strengthen yang. Pressing jin jing acupoint helps promote the circulation of blood and chi, and builds conditioning. It also relieves rheumatism, drives off chills, and reduces pain in your neck, shoulders, and back. Turning your waist, straightening your legs, and stretching your feet can further stimulate Ren and Du meridian channels, Dai meridian channels, and the Foot Sun Yin and Foot Sun Yang meridians. Promote the circulation of blood and Qi. These movements also help increase the flexibility of your lumbar vertebrae and hip joints and stretch the muscle groups of the waist and legs, thereby improving their flexibility and agility.
Step 5. Iron Stick Calms the Sea. Shenzhen Dinghai. 1. The right wrist rotates outward and holds the stick with palm up. Shift the weight to the left. Draw a vertical circle above your head. Then, bend your knees low and lower the stick along your side to waist height. Your eyes follow the direction of the stick. 2. Turn your waist slightly to the right. Rotate the stick with your left hand, holding it in front of your chest with your right palm, cradling the extended end. Then, turn your left foot outward at the same time. Turn your body left and draw curves in front of your body, looking straight ahead. 3. Bring your right foot forward. Bend your knees low. Push the end of the stick nearest your chest downward with your left hand until it reaches waist height, while your right hand slides slightly to the right end of the stick and then pulls it upward until the stick is held vertically in front of your body with your right hand. Then slide the right hand down until it meets the left. 4. Straighten your knees and the left hand loosens its grip on the stick as you lower it. Extend your arms along your sides with the right hand holding the stick. Raise your left arm with palm up. Then relax your thighs. Slightly bend your knees and press your left palm to the front of your abdomen. Movements to the right side mirror those on the left side in the opposite direction. This set of movements is done on each side once and repeated twice. Coordinate your breathing with the movements. As your skills advance, your breath will become deep and light, primarily abdominal breathing. When you cannot manage the stick well, Try practicing some basic movements, such as rotating, rolling, and sliding the stick, etc. When you lift your arms and extend your hand, relax your shoulders, bend your elbow. Imagine you are breathing the essence of nature deep to Dantian and stand quietly for a moment. rotation makes up for the lack of such movements in daily life and is effective in helping to prevent wrist injury, guiding the movement of qi with the stick and imagining the absorption of nature's essence to dantian helps maintain your vitality and improves the effect of the exercise.
Step 6. Golden Dragon Wags Its Tail. Jin Long Jiao Wei. 1. Turn your right foot inward and step your left foot out behind you. Hold the stick with your right hand and point it to the front right. Turn your body to the left. Draw a vertical circle in front of your body and stop when the stick is at shoulder height with both hands holding the stick and resting it under the right armpit to form a left bow stance. 2. Shift your weight back onto the right leg. Slide your left hand forward along the stick and your right hand backward until the left hand reaches the end of the stick and the right hand is near your waist. Then, move your left foot across and behind the right, bending both knees to form a high squat stance. Turn right at the waist and pause. 3. Lower your weight. Extend the stick to the right and front with the left hand at one end till the other end touches the ground. Then, slide the right hand along the stick a third of its length and grasp it. Then stir with and push the stick along the floor with your palms facing down. 4. Stand erect. Move your left foot one step to the left and at the same time slide your left hand to the end of the stick and your right hand a third of the way along it. Bring your right foot back. Move your left hand a third of the way along the stick and grasp it in front of your abdomen. Movements to the right side mirror those on the left in opposite direction. This set of movements is done once on each side and repeated twice. When you push the stick forward, you extend your legs backward as you draw a vertical circle from the bottom up. You move your weight downward. When you stir with the stick, rotate your wrists outward and inhale at the same time. As you press the stick, rotate your wrists inward and exhale. When you rise and spread your feet apart, you inhale. When you bring your feet together and sink with bending knees, you exhale. When you draw a vertical circle, relax your shoulders and stretch your arms. When you slide your hands to the ends of the stick, you should hold the stick tight lowering your shoulders and elbows. Older people with high blood pressure or heart disease may choose the higher squat. Younger people should choose the lower squat. As the physical condition of the older practitioner improves, the low squat becomes an option.
bending the knees with one knee pressed against the Chen Shan acupoint of the other leg. You stimulate the foot Tai Yang bladder meridian effectively. This regulates the flow of urine as the bladder meridian is connected with the kidney channel. Squatting demands flexibility and the ability to balance and control the strength in your legs. Squatting helps strengthen older people's leg muscles, improve their balancing ability, and reduce muscle spasm and cramping. Rotating your body from the waist helps stimulate Di Meridian Channel, which is responsible for thorough circulation in the meridians and is good for the smooth flow of Qi throughout the body. Step 7. Search for treasure in the sea. Tang Hai Shun Bao. One. Step out with your left foot. Push the stick to shoulder height. Then pull it back to your chest and roll it down over the body to your feet. slightly. Then, turn your head and body to the left, pushing the stick leftward and then upward until your right hand comes to left shoulder height. Turn your body and head back, lowering the stick to the ground in front of your feet. 3. Straighten your legs. Keep your back well arched. Then, raise your head, taking and exhaling a breath and pause. 4. Stand erect, rolling the stick up over your legs to your chest. Bring your feet together and stand naturally erect. Roll the stick down to your abdomen with full arm extension. Movements to the right side mirror those on the left side in opposite direction. This set of movements is done once on each side and repeated twice. When you raise the stick in front of your body, lower your shoulders and raise your elbows. When you draw the stick back to your chest, flex your hands, wrists and elbows in succession.
When you bend your back and turn your body leftward, your left hand guides the stick and the right hand follows. When you turn your body to the right, bend your back and lower the stick. You drop the right hand first and then the left. Beginners and older people should not bend too low. Avoid constricted breathing and pressure in your chest. Keep your knees straight and your breathing smooth. You should be breathing light but deep, in harmony with your movements, relying primarily on abdominal breathing. Turning your body and head, or raising your head and bending your back effectively stimulate di meridian channel and REN and DU meridian channels. This helps promote the circulation of blood and chi, invigorate the kidneys, and strengthen the abdomen to improve your health. Bending your knees and back helps stretch the muscle groups of your legs, improving flexibility and lessening the fatigue and tension of the muscles in your back. Step 8. Qi returns to Dantian. Qi Gui Dantian. 1. Spread your fingers and hold the stick with palms down. Turn your wrists outward. Grip the stick vertically and let your arms hang naturally at your sides. Step out your left foot and stand naturally straight. 2. Bend your knees. Push your arms together in front of your abdomen with palms facing each other and pause. 3. Stand upright again. Bring your hands together in front of Dantian, pubic region. Then, let your arms hang naturally at your sides. Look straight ahead. Repeat steps 2 and 3 twice.
When you bring your hands together in front of your groin, your hands should be 10 centimeters apart. And then separate your arms to let them hang. Guiding the flow of chi with imagination helps enhance vitality. Ending stance. Bring your feet together and stand naturally straight. Look straight ahead and hold the stick at your side. Lightly grasping the stick at midpoint in your left hand. Tips. When you stand up, Relax your waist, your hips, raise your elbows, lower your shoulders, stand straight and relax. Imagine you are communicating with nature. Coordinate your movements with light but deep abdominal breathing. Shifting from dynamic flow to the static conclusion consolidates your vitality and regulates body and mind to the most relaxed and balanced state. 